Have you ever wondered what's the difference between this soda machines and the can sodas and the bottle sodas and all those mineral waters? Is it worth it for you to buy one for your own convenience at your house? Or do you want to still buy cans? Is the flavor the same? Is the price the same? So today we're going to find out if it's worth it here in Drinks for Humans. Well, don't forget to subscribe if you enjoy our videos and leave a like down if you like this video right here. Today, we're going to be talking about sparkling water, soda maker versus can or bottle soda. So we're going to, let's take right off the bat. What's the difference between soda and mineral water, right? Soda could be everything that is carbonated versus mineral water, which usually has some minerals and it's carbonated. Sometimes mineral water is gonna be carbonated, not all the times, most of the times. So that's the difference between those two. And today we're gonna to be talking about mostly soda water, but we're also gonna be tasting some mineral water just to taste the difference. And obviously the results depends on the water that you have at home, the water that you've been using. So let's check out those results later, okay? But first of all, let's talk about Time. And a little bit more. So I think back in uh, 18th century, 17th century, this guy comes up, put some some sugar on a barrel, and I think the water and the sugar, something happened and started, you know, happened a second fermentation. Do you guys know what other product goes through a second fermentation? You guess it right, it's champagne. Champagne goes through a second fermentation and that's how it naturally gets the bubble. So this, remember back in the 17th century, we didn't know this, we didn't know what was going on. Probably they thought it was just dawn, bad, rotten, something, you know, but that's what they discovered pretty much, soda water. Now, soda water, I think back in the World War II, the States, they were like, okay, well, let's put some sodium into the water. And it was kind of salty, it was kind of fizzy. That's why the, the name is just stuck with, uh, with the product, soda water. Today, I don't think they put a lot of sodium. I think, in fact, there's a lot of, a lot of products that don't advertise sodium or they advertise uh, low sodium or just no sodium because you know sodium in certain quantities is not really good for you you know sodium is still good for you but not in high and elevated amounts but let's go back into business so we're gonna these are the waters we're gonna be tasting today this one is it's a little frozen so these are the waters that we're gonna be tasting. You know, there's I think like I think there's like ten thousand waters out there. Uh, mineral, sparkling, flavor water, all of those things. That to be honest, it's a really huge, huge water ma market. But I pick I think the most common waters, and these are the waters that I um, I brought up. To be honest, I drink all these waters. I really like a lot of Lacroix, Topo Chico, definitely one of my favorites. Pellegrino, I think. It's, you know, hands down my preferred mineral water. And you know, but this is what I have at home with combined with this awesome machine. And that water combined with this machine is just unbelievably good. But I'm not, I'm not gonna be biased. I'm gonna taste them side by side and pick which one do we like, okay? So let's get started. Uh, let me bring some water glasses. So I'm just gonna organize them like that. So I'm gonna pour them. So let's talk about Lacroix. And it's pronounced Lacroix. The name is French, Le Croix. But Lacroix, I came to find out that it's from a river, I think in Mississippi called, you know, locally it's called Lacroix. So the exact name of the brand is Lacroix. Here we have Pellegrino. And let's talk about bubbles a little bit later because that's a really big part of uh, sparkling water. So for this, we're gonna do something special. So you open it up, put it in, and I like four or five times when I press it. And you can hear, that's kind of your cue. I'll let it sit for a little bit and then take it out. So this is tap water. Tap water turned into sparkling water. Let's look at the bubbles. 
Right away, I'm looking Topo Chico and Pellegrino have bigger and thicker bubbles. I don't see a lot of bubbles in LaCroix, probably because I poured it first. And I see a little bit of bubbles on the last tap water with the soda stream. Just to give it a first shot, I'm gonna try LaCroix first. Mm. All of them are gonna be refreshing. The bubbles is gonna be thin, kind of refined. I think that's the word that I was looking for. I don't find any little bit of minerality, but not very strong. I think is refreshing. You know, it's a popular product. I can't assume why people love LaCroix. For me, it's just a sparkling water that you can go and taste and have your meal. But let's go into Pellegrino. There's some elements of minerality, some, it's a little bit saltier and the bubble is more refined actually than LaCroix. So it's funny because these you can see the bubbles. Here you cannot see, but you can taste them, but this is more refined, it's smaller. That's why I like this one. I think Pellegrino always gives you a good amount between mineral, fresh, good acidity. None of these waters are sweet, but I think this one compared to LaCroix is a little sweet. One out of a hundred, probably two. Yeah, Pellegrino, this is from Italy, San Pellegrino. Let's talk about Topo Chico. Topo Chico, so I used to live in, in Mexico City, then I moved to the north. Topo Chico was not a thing in the city. We, I, I've never heard of it and I, and I lived there most of my life. Topo Chico is not a thing in Mexico City, maybe nowadays it is. When I lived there, it was not, but up in the north, you know, Baja and, and Monterrey, which I think that's where this water is from. Yes, from Monterrey, which is all the way up north. One of the things that I, when I didn't like this water, it was because the bubble is so heavy. Um, nowadays, I enjoy it. I love the bubbles on Topo Chico, but the bubbles are so heavy and it's mineral rich. It's a little bit more acidic. It's a drier water, I believe, than Pellegrino. But look at the bubbles. I don't know if you guys can see. Check out, maybe, let me just wipe it down. Okay, look at the bubbles. You see, they're bigger. That's a bigger, thicker bubble. And this Topo Chico has become very popular for ranch water. So ranch water is this really popular cocktail I think was originated in Texas. I can do a video. Just let me know in the comments if you guys want to see a more in-depth video. Sorry, soda water makes you burp. Going back to the ranch water, this is, if you don't make your ranch water with Topo Chico, it's not a ranch water, right? You need to make it. You can substitute the tequila, lime, salt, all of that, glass, everything. But the only thing you cannot substitute in a ranch water is your Topo Chico. It's not gonna taste the same. The big thick bubble helps, and helps a lot. Um, and now for the chat, let's go with the soda stream. Well, there's definitely not a lot of minerals. The bubble is still there. It's not as bubbly as Topo Chico but you can feel the bubbles in your mouth. I would compare it to LaCroix. I think these two have similar bubbles, not these. These are into another kind of category. I think I would compare these with this. And this, this kind of bubbles, they have a little bit more length. It's not bad. It's not bad. I, I mean, I, I drink this every time. I, I avoid wasting a lot of glass and buying this and that. This is what I drink every day, but I've never compared them side by side. So this is really interesting. I would think this is LaCroix, no minerals. It's just tap water, has some bubbles. So I think carbonation goes, you know, the more the CO2 spends within the water and the liquid, the more, you know, blend in it gets so i think you know i just did it you saw five minutes ago if you guys haven't checked out the video of this kid making carbonated milk it's hilarious you guys need to watch it don't try it I, i've never tried i'm not gonna try it unless you guys want me to try it i'm not gonna try carbonated milk no way okay well which one is the winner i don't think there's a winner i think all of these waters are really good in their category. I mean, this is my to-go mineral water for, you know, the day-to-day, -day, the dinner. This is my to-go water for cocktails, for when you're trying to middle of the day, squeeze a lime, just put some ice. This is delicious in cocktails, beautiful. This is your to-go, maybe for, you know, you're going on a hike, you're camping, maybe you just 
taking the subway and you want to grab a can and put it in your bag. But for me, this is a game changer because at least until the last, what, I don't know how long this product's been out, but at least until the past five years, we haven't seen something like this. And it's a game changer because now you can, you know, gradually substitute the need for soda water with this. And it's cheaper. The machine is, I think, around $80, I think. When you average the cost of each of these cans, they run to the store. But I think when you average and you compare the cost, this is the winner and you can also add some minerals if you're worried about your minerals there's kind of like little packages that you can add per portion uh, but for me this is a game changer so do i recommend having one of these at home absolutely absolutely and you can have this ready to go if you like flavored sparkling water they sell this tiny little bottles with orange lime lemon and a bunch of other flavors that you just put a little bit and there you go you have your flavor sparkling water so do i recommend it yes am i disappointed of any of these waters no i think all of them are great brands all of them are great names that you know they made the names by themselves that being said if there's one water that i love it's pellegrino pellegrino has a special place in my heart i think when i started doing getting into drinks and all that you compare it to waters like Perrier. Perrier is like thinner bubble. Some other brands, Pellegrino for me is a winner. Uh, Badois, Badois is a little bit more mineral, but um, that's it. And I think that's gonna be it for today, guys. Leave us a like if you enjoyed this video. Leave us a comment if you already had one of these waters, if you want us to try some more. And I will leave the link down in the description for you guys to buy this water. Subscribe to the channel if you're not subscribed and we'll see you on the next one.